Hello, Coach Carol back again with more tips on writing family stories with AI assistance. And this is a follow up on the talk to chat GPT tip that I gave you recently. I'm going to share my screen and show you some of the options that you have when attaching talk to chat PT in your account. So over on the right hand side, you'll see the extension that has now been put in place as I showed you before, and I need to start it. So first I'm going to choose ChatGPT4, then start. Okay. Tell me ChatGPT, how does this conversation work? with you. Send. As an AI language model, I'm here to assist you with any questions or topics you'd like to discuss. When you send a message, I process the text, analyze its context, and generate a relevant response based on my training data. My main goal is to be helpful and engage in a meaningful conversation with you. For a throwback Thursday, TBT, chat. You can share a memory, story, or topic from the past. And I'll respond with relevant information or engage in a conversation about that topic. Just send me a message describing the memory or topic you'd like to discuss and I'll do my best to provide you with an enjoyable and informative conversation. I needed to turn off the voice so that what I'm saying next is not taken as a question for ChatGPT, but you heard it respond to me in real voice. At least I'm hoping that you did. Now, what voice did I choose? I went over to settings and chose a Google UK English male voice, but you can have any of these. The talking speed is at one, comfortable for my ears, the voice pitch at one, but experiment with those to suit yourself. For my speech today, I used English Australian, but you can choose from any of those. And there are words that you can use to stop, pause, or send. Save all that so that it has that. Let me just make one change so that you can see the difference. Let's choose. United States. Save that. And then I switch on so that it can respond again. So looking at this um, answer here about topics of interest, let's ask it about its ability to talk to us. Hello, ChatGPT. The latest thing that I'm exploring is how I can have real conversations with you in voice. How would that particular topic help others in family history research. It seems there might be a small typo in your message. But I understand that you're interested in having real conversations with me through voice and how it can help with family history research. Integrating AI language models like me with voice recognition technology can provide a seamless and convenient way to conduct family history research. Here's how it can help. Accessibility. Voice interactions make it easier for people with visual impairments or those who have difficulty typing to engage in family history research. This can broaden the reach of genealogy research to a wider audience. Oral history preservation by recording conversations with older family members. You can capture their stories and experiences in their own words. 
AI can then help transcribe and analyze these recordings, making it easier to preserve and share family memories. Data organization. AI can help organize and categorize information obtained from family conversations or historical records, making it simpler to uncover patterns, relationships, and significant events in your family history. Intelligent assistance. AI can provide suggestions and insights based on the data you've collected, helping you make connections between different family members or identify gaps in your research. Time saving. Voice interactions with AI can help streamline the process of family history research by quickly answering questions, providing information, and assisting with data organization. By combining voice technology with AI language models like me, you can make family history research more accessible and efficient for everyone involved. I'll just switch those off again. So there we have it. We had an American voice style this time, giving us the answer to my query about how using voice can help with my family history research. So topic close to our hearts. It was interesting to see that there was a small typo in my message and probably because of my pronunciation of chat GPT because of the translation up here that you can see. So that was an interesting side issue. So let's try one more, but let's change the voice and let's go to a female voice and let's have English female. Keep in mind the way it is. And I just need to reduce the screen size so I can see the save button. And we'll try another topic of conversation with ChatGPT. So you might like to try this yourself. So one of the things that I picked up on here was the data organization. AI can help organize and categorize information obtained from family conversation or historical records. And it says, making it simpler, to uncover patterns, relationships, and significant events in your family history. I might try something a little different now and ask it to translate or, or to give a transcript in voice of a famous will. I'm going to choose the last will and testament of Lord Horatio Nelson. So I'll switch it on again and let's see what it does with this. Hello, ChatGPT. Can you please provide a transcription of the famous last will and testament of Lord Horatio Nelson? In voice, please. I am unable to provide an audio transcription here, as I am a text-based AI model. However, I can provide you with a summary of the famous last will and testament of Admiral Lord Horatio Nelson, a British naval officer renowned for his victories during the Napoleonic Wars. The will and testament of Lord Horatio Nelson was written on October 21st, 1805, just before the Battle of Trafalgar. In his will, Lord Nelson made several provisions, including he bequeathed his estate of Merton in Surrey, England, to his brother, William Nelson, and his male heirs. He left an annuity of £2.000 per year to his mistress, Lady Emma Hamilton, as well as £500 per year to his daughter, Horatia Nelson. He requested that his brother William take care of his daughter. Horatia, and Lady Hamilton. Lord Nelson made several bequests to other family members and friends, including his sisters and some of his officers. He also made a request to the British government to provide for the welfare of his mistress, 
Lady Hamilton, and their daughter, Horatia, in recognition of his services to the nation. Unfortunately, after Lord Nelson's death, Lady Hamilton did not receive the support she was hoping for from the British government, and she eventually died in poverty in Calais, France. In 1815, please note that this is a summary of Lord Nelson's will and not a transcription of the actual document. A very interesting summary of a will that I had actually read. Most of this seems to be quite accurate. It was interesting the way the voice could not pronounce this as 2,000 pounds but it, it certainly seems correct to the information that I have found. Let me just share that document with you because it's quite astounding. And this is found on Ancestry, as you can see up here. And this was, in fact, dated... 30th, 13th day of May, 1803, not 805, as the voice told us a moment ago. And I found out the reason for that, that there was a codicil to the will that was dated later. And if you wanted to find out more about this particular will, use Ancestry to find it. It's quite astonishing. And in the codicil, it does mention, I'm not sure if you can see it here, that Horatio, Horatia Nelson Thompson is the daughter that he recognised. He acknowledged her as the adopted daughter and gave the sum of a thousand pounds sterling money for her. Quite extraordinary. So just coming back to the chat GPT window to reflect again on the summary of the famous will uh, saying that it was written just before the Battle of Trevalver that requires further research to find out if that is so. But it did lead me to some other things that I wanted to find out about. And, and in finding those relatives, such as his brother William, this made quite a lot of sense to me. So I hope that you can find a little use in the new way that you can communicate with ChatGPT using voice. Try it out for yourself.